Hey guys, so um, I recently did a video on the quadrupole magnet, so I'm really going to explain how my quadrupole magnet works specifically. There are other types of quadrupole magnets, but in this case it's going to be pretty much the simplest kind of quadrupole magnet. So you can see in this, rep in this uh, representation of a quadrupole that I have drawn up on paint here, you have four bar magnets, right, you know, as you can see, um, four bar magnets. Now we're just going to focus on the area, of the sides of the bar magnets that point in towards the center circle. In case you're wondering, these white lines right here are uh, like this, this line, and this line. Those are the um, axis. So this is the y-axis, the x-axis. Because the picture is not perfectly rotated, the axis is axi or axis is axi, axis, whatever. They're slightly crooked, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so as you can see, there's four poles. Now both. The, the ones that are on either side facing each other are both the same. So these two are both north, these two are both south. Doesn't matter, it can, um, it, these can, two can be north and these two can be south. It doesn't really matter, it makes no difference at all. Okay, so the way it works is right here in the middle, there is no magnetic effect. Right in the very center, along that circle, there's no effect. So any particle passing through the very center of the x-axis, like right there, right inside that little circle, will be will have no effect so it's just going to stay there okay and that's because the magnetic fields cancel out as you can see the south would go like that like that like that like that that creates a neutral region in the middle of where all the fields cancel out okay so basically this south would go to this north it would also go to this north this one would do that and then this one would also do that Okay, that would, uh, and they, but they would be curved so in effect there would be nothing in the middle so a particle passing through the middle has no effect now, say a particle was going to pass right there, right, that green green little dot right there, okay, along the y-axis. Now, say this is an electron, and I'm pretty sure electrons are attracted to north. Not sure, but uh, pretty sure. Don't take my word for it, but assume they are attracted to north. Assume that this doesn't have to be an electron. This can be this particle right here. can be whatever particle it is that's attracted to north, okay? So it'd be repelled by the south. It'd be repelled by the south and put in the center. Okay, so if it's immediately along this, the y-axis, you would be repelled from the south and actually put right there in the center. So you, the particle would then be right there, right? So as you can see, this, this magnet is going to be focusing along the x-axis. Now there's, there is a um, condition that, now say it was right here, right? Not along the y-axis, okay? Now what's going to happen is the south's going to push it to the middle here, but it's also going to be pulled out by the north, right? It's going to be pulled towards the north. So it's going to actually end up right there. So a particle that was originally here is going to be pushed to the center here and then pulled out by the north. So this particle is really going to go like that, right? It's going to go from here to there, okay? So that's how quadrupoles work, is that they're defocusing on one axis. In this case, it's the x-axis, right? Because they're pulled out. You know, a particle that's here or here will end up like here or here. Particles that are here will end up here. So you can see that um, what you're going to get is you're going to get if 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 your particles were like this, right? Pretty much all over. You're going to get a line of particles in the center, right? This this green line in the center. All these particles are going to be forced to the line in the center. Okay. Oh, great can't undo it anymore. Um, never mind, okay, but all those particles are going to be forced to the center, okay? So as you can see, it's defocusing on one axis and focusing on the other. Now that's the way mine works. The way mine uh, really works is, let's see if I can do something cool here. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so the way mine works is that these magnets here Are replaced by electromagnets okay so those little nails I made a video about it the nail electromagnets you all made them in second grade I assume okay are really replaced by the nail magnet so here's our nail our nail with the uh, coils one around, around them okay so then we would have the uh, coils around them like that and then the poles would just be opposite so oh my 
my god, I don't know what's wrong with my mouse. It kept like undoing it. Um, okay, so then, and then the polarities on these these two magnets, the vertical ones, would be the opposite of the horizontal ones, creating like north, north, south, south. If you remember the right hand rule video from the electromagnets, it would reverse the polarity so these could be south, these could be north. So it would align on one of the axes, depending on which particle you had. So that's really the way quadrupoles work, is that they f defocus on one axis and focus on the other axis. And um, if, in case you're wondering how they focus beams like in the LHC or how they focused it in Tevatron or Stanford Linear Accelerator, Brookhaven National Laboratory, other laboratories around the world, uh, they take two quadrupole magnets. So if we we're just to delete all of this, including you at the top, they have, if this is your particle accelerator line, right, this is horizontal distance, if you were looking at it from the side, they put one quadrupole here and another one here at a very calculated distance, so as the defocusing effects of the quadrupoles would cancel out, and you'd just be left with the focusing effects. So that's, your, that's in case you're wondering, that's how they work, how they are used. So to recap, quadrupoles, defocus on one axis and focus on the other. The reason they defocus on the reason they focus on one axis is because the two magnets at the sides like these say say it was um, focusing on the y axis and defocusing on the x axis and green represents your magnets. The two magnets on the sides would repel the particles and push all the particles which are represented in yellow to the middle, right? So if a particle's here it's going to be pushed towards the middle. So this particle is going to go over there, okay? So it's going to cluster all the particles in the middle. Now, the magnets on the top and the bottom, remember this is uh, focusing on the uh, X and defocusing on the Y, these particles will be spread out because they're attracted to the magnets on the top and the bottom. So it will really be a line between on the Y axis and defocused on the X axis. You can see that in the video. It doesn't look too well. It looks like a blob, but in reality this is the way the particles are going to be. So that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, yeah, that's the way quadrupoles work. Thanks for watching.